What I'm doing now is yoga. Thank you. <laughs> you think it's going to be like just a bunch of hot women. You get to hang out with them. Turns out, like, the process of lying back down and then getting back up is super fucking hard. <laughs> Try to do that a bunch of times. No way. Uh-uh. Uh, they, you know, they don't have anything cute on yoga pants my size. They do have yoga pants in my size, but it just doesn't have anything cute on the butt, you know? Yoga pants my size just, like, describe, like, a really good stew, you know? Just says extra chunky. <laughs> just one word. Hearty. <laughs> Dig on it. <laughs> I like yoga because it's like a real challenge uh, for me. Uh, every time I do yoga, it's like I'm losing my virginity. Again, and again, and again. There's just a girl going, um, excuse me, uh, do you need to see a doctor? <laughs> uh, you're kind of bumming the whole room out. <laughs> Here's an extra towel for you. <laughs> Oh, and sir, you haven't paid for the whole session. <laughs> Do you feel bad for me after that? <laughs> That's pretty funny. <laughs> How I lose my virginity again and again and again. Nah, no, it's fine. It's yoga. I can do I can do a warrior too, like a boss. Don't you worry about me. I do like that thing, you know? I haven't warmed up yet. <laughs> Thank you. Hey, hey, you guys want to break into a yoga session real quick? What do you think? Yeah, all right, no planking though, all right? That is very difficult. Uh, so we're going to move on, and then if you guys want to see, you know, me do some yoga, we're going to have a uh, back alley yoga session later on today. It's going to be real hot. It's going to be a whole lot of no clothing. Don't even worry about it. Go behind the gaslight. Anything can happen. We'll use a couple hobos as some mats. They're fine. They're free range. It's all, you know. <laughs> It's cruelty free, all right? It's gonna be cruelty free. Uh, now we have a, another fantastic guest set from a guy from Minneapolis. Put the lefts, the rights, break the sound barrier for Nathan Hall. I saw a back alley yoga session in Seattle when they had their original drummer. <laughs> Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Greetings, hallucinations. My name is Nathan Hall. I'm what's probably known as the stand-up comedian. Uh, two things that you should know about me and comedy in general. One, uh, there's nothing sadder than watching uh, comedians get ready to go on. Okay? Like, whatever you think is like cool, like about like a baseball player or whatever, when they're, they're like getting their stance or something. It is just a bunch of miserable people literally practicing smiling. They're like, all right, I put on that face that the 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 effect similar that uh, I I care about them for six or seven minutes. All right, good. No, I'm done. Now I can be an asshole again. Uh, the other thing is that uh, this is an arrogant art form. It is the only art form in which getting everybody to leave is a badge of honor. Okay, uh, and I think the only comedy that's worth a damn is uh, where you say something that's uncomfortable, hurts people's feelings, or you know, makes them cry, but just like you get a reaction, something about it. Like if you died in a car accident, like this is what you don't want them to find in your wallet. Like, and what I wouldn't, if I had to pick one thing, is uh, a personal ad that I wrote uh, in a drunken stupor, and I, uh, I saw it the next day, and it said, the headline was, Luke Skywalker seeking Princess Leia. <laughs> Look at this face. I have clearly seen that film over a hundred times. <laughs> it is as if in my subconscious, deep down, somehow, I knew that I wanted to make out with somebody for a little bit while I leave. Yeah, I'm going to figure out she's my sister, but first there'll be a chase kiss or two. You know? And my friend, uh, friend uh, singular, was saying, Nathan, you probably just meant to say Han Solo. You were just wasted. I'm like, no, no, I, I'm sure I didn't. No, uh, this looks like somebody who's going to whine a lot about having to go uh, into town for power converters. No, I meant, I meant the first one. I, uh, again with the awes. <laughs> I don't really, this isn't like true. Uh, stories and confessions and therapy time. Okay. Shut up the stuff we make up. <laughs> I oh, you ruined, you broke the fourth wall. Why? Why do you why? 
What if it's totally the artifice of this? Uh, yeah, uh, a little cavalry word. Um, couple quick things, I, I only uh, get a couple of minutes. Uh, I assumed I was on the bill because my, my face was on it, apparently not. Um, but uh, real quick, if we can have a moratorium on uh, guys saying the phrase, uh, we're pregnant, I thought that had something that we had got done away with like a long time ago. Like, you didn't do shit. <laughs> Okay, like uh, with the, like the announcements, like, and I realize birthing it's an odd process. Okay, it's like the equivalent of like you you squeeze toothpaste up in there, and then nine months later a dentist came out. <laughs> okay, but that weird pregnant. Okay, you know, screw sympathy pains. Okay, like, uh, and the thing that always weirds me out is they will always have like in the birth announcements, they'll also like when the child is born they. Even the, the biggest font is how, uh, how uh, the length and the weight. Like as if I can't tell if there's like a baby shower or it's a bass fishing tournament. <laughs> <laughs> like they should uh, just make up their minds. Um, I, uh, another thing uh, about me, by the way, if you're looking for uh, jokes that segue into other ones, that's not for me. <laughs> just random disconnected thoughts. Uh, uh, real quick, I, I wanted to say that I'm very happy that I uh, will not, uh, I will not be drafted, ever. I'm past that point in my life. And uh, I remember being concerned about that at one point, and uh, if there's anybody in the armed services, uh, you're welcome. I would have been a hindrance to you. <laughs> you need death perception for most and everything, <laughs> certainly in a war. Uh, but I think that like, if I went anywhere, they would probably stick me in military bands. Like that's that's where I, I would end up, and I always like to think of that as like the most extreme band camp. Like that is my clarinet. There aren't any others, but this one is mine. I'm making fun of the crowd thinking I. Like,